Hey guys, welcome to game two of our double header today. It is uh, September 8th, 2018. If you guys have noticed, I have not been commenting back to you today. I am actually at the Miami Hurricanes game. They will be taking on Savannah State. This is my first ever uh, football game I've ever went to. So I'm pretty hype about it. I got my Sean Taylor jersey on right now. And I'm with my wife. And it's going to be the time of my life. But also, after that, I'm going to a Mayday concert. I don't know if you guys know who that is. It's a rap group on Strange Music's rap label, which is owned by Tech 9 But it's going to be a great day. I hope you guys are enjoying the games. Right now, we got the Dayton Flyers taking on the 24th ranked Montana Grizzlies. And the Grizzlies have actually not had a game this season against a non-ranked opponent, which is extremely bizarre to me. <laughs> Because everybody thinks that, you know, other teams have hard schedules. But this is their fourth straight ranked opponent. And I got the Flyers losing this one 31-30. to So let's see what the guys think about that. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Brisk, cool weather on tap for tonight's game between Montana Grizzlies and the Flyers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Flyers. The Grizzlies are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kirk, what are your thoughts? Montana has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow. I agree with you on this one. Go Grizzlies. They will be victorious today. Now that looks good on you, Lee. Anyway, let's set it down to the field. So all the guys also have the Grizzlies win in this game, but here's Smash Jackson up the gut. He'll pick up 14 yards on his first carry of the game. And he'll go left side this time. Past the 40. What a run. Past the 30 all the way inside the 25-yard line. He came into the game with 450-plus yards, nine rushing touchdowns, and a receiving touchdown. And here's Amari Manuel with a nice catch and double coverage. He'll pick up nine yards, third and inches. Smash Jackson gets two yards and the first down. I expect this game to be a slugfest. This is the Big Ten opener for both squads, I believe. So it's going to be fun. Smash Jackson punches it in. That's his tenth rushing touchdown on the season. He has been unstoppable. It's seven in one game. Neal, left side on the option. Pick up eight yards. He's got 10 passing touchdowns on the season. And he gets sacked this time. Outside linebacker came through. Nice, nice blitz. And right side, incomplete. Not even close, went way out of bounds. Flyers get the ball back. Here's Smash Jackson once again. And he'll pick up 10 more yards. He is eighth in the country with 524 yards now. And that pass is picked off by Russell. Not a very good throw by Dorian. He just kind of threw it into coverage there. Not a good decision. So the Grizzlies take over at the Dayton Flyer 33-yard line. And their offense gets to work. They have one of the best offenses in the Big Ten. They're going to go left side here to the tight end, Craig. After a holding call, they get it back to the line of scrimmage. Third and nine. Neal, left side. He's got Craig again. What a hit by Barnes. My goodness. Fourth and three, they're going to go for it. And wide open, Rob Orlandi gets toasted by Cox. And that is a touchdown for Montana. He didn't stand a chance in that coverage. Just a little bit faster. Good effort though, Rob. You tried. Smash Jackson to the left side. Breaks the tackle. Great stiff arm up to the 30-yard line. And play action. Dorian right side. Trent Green with a nice catch at the 35-yard line. A man misses. He's past midfield. And out of bounds at the 42-yard line. We're a two of seven right now. And he's going to roll left. Wide open. Smash Jackson. First down at the 26-yard line. Where it came into the game with 700-plus passing yards. 350-plus rushing yards. And there's Smash Jackson getting another first down. And Dorian also had seven total touchdowns before this game. And that was almost picked off again. Not a good decision. They have to send on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and it is good. That'll give them the 10-7 lead here in Dayton, Ohio, in their own version of the horseshoe. Callahan, nice back juke. 
Malone misses, and that was almost a touchdown. Callahan very close to breaking another tackle. And he'll get a nice carry here. Left side, Cummings misses the tackle. Gloves, or Davis <laughs> gets the tackle. Up at the 10-yard line. And Neal picked off by Cummings, who just missed the tackle. Inside the 10-yard line. Second and 13 now from the 6. Dorian taking a deep shot. Amari Manuel at the 40. Deflected and caught. And he gets it to the 30-yard line. A fantastic catch. Great concentration for Amari Manuel, who has had a heck of a season so far this year. Over 300 yards receiving. And that was a perfectly placed pass. The corner just got way up there to deflect it up. Option play left side. Dorian takes off inside the 10, inside the 5, down to the 4-yard line. And he's going to throw it here. Left side, Skaggs wide open for his first career receiving touchdown. Not a defender in sight. Nice little 3-yard out route. And that pump fake had everybody fooled. Perfect route for James Skaggs, the second tight end on the roster. Montana back on offense. Callahan with a direct snap, breaks two tackles, gets it up to the 35-yard line. He is a force. They're going to go with the same exact play. This time, he goes nowhere. He is stuffed for a big loss by Barnes. And the Flyers take over on offense yet again. Dorian taking off left side. He's got Skaggs wide open. He finds Manuel instead. What a spin move. He's off to the races and gone. Showboating. And finally takes off again. But they're going to throw a flag here for a holding. So that negates a huge touchdown. That was Estes on the holding call. Unreal. Fullback fake dive. Smash Jackson with a great spin move. Past the 20. Breaks another tackle. Past the 25-yard line. Now over 550 yards rushing for the season. Dorian rolling around. Trying to stay in the pocket. Now rolls out to the right. He's going to get the first down easy. Past the 40-yard line. And it's what, third and long here. Jenkins wide open, past the 30, he's going to take it the distance. I don't know how they let him get wide open like that on third and 26. A 73-yard touchdown pass. What a play. Neal sacked, that'll make it fourth and 16 for Montana. That's his second sack of the game. Swanson coming off the edge. Jackson, right side. Just a simple halfback slam. That'll get him another 20-plus yard run here with less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Jackson, left side. That's the 20. Breaks the tackle. Gets out of bounds at the 13-yard line. And they'll send on the field goal unit. And that will make it 27-14 going into halftime. What a performance from the Flyers. I still think Montana has a shot in this one if they just hold on to the football. Only 111 yards for the Grizzlies, 383 for Dayton. Neal, right side, Callahan runs over Price, the number two cornerback. And Stan Jones, who got injured earlier, is out for seven weeks with a torn shoulder. So the Grizzlies dropping like flies right now. And right side, Kennedy with a nice catch. Past the 30, the 20, and look at the speed. He goes all the way, oh my goodness. When he first caught that, there's no way I thought he would take that all away. Just look at all the defenders right there. Price and Malone could not catch him. My goodness. 27-14, just like that. Smash Jackson on a toss play, though. He'll get another first down and get close to another 20-yard run. That gives him 146 for the game. Play action. Dorian rolling out. He's going to take off again, get another first down. Up to the 31-yard line. He is so dangerous on the ground. And Jackson, following his blockers, picks up another first down. Averaging 9.2 yards per carry today. And Dorian gets sacked way back at the 25-yard line. Just a simple play action, but the linebacker came through on the blitz. It'll send down the field goal unit for a 40-yarder. The kick is up and right down the middle. So the kicker, 3 for 3 today. And that makes it 30 to 14. And fumble on the football. And that is Swanson on the football is what I'm trying to say. Nice play by Barnes. He's been playing fantastic this season for the Flyers. And that was just poor ball handling by the halfback. Jackson up the middle. He'll pick up seven. 
That gives him 171 yards. Third and two, though. Dorian taking off a lot of space in front of him. Dives, but he is stopped at the one-yard line. He finally punches it in on a QB sneak, and he is second in the conference for rushing yards, which is outstanding. Callahan gets loose up to the 45-yard line. And he gets absolutely destroyed in the backfield this time. So the Flyers take over. That was on third down. Dorian were a sack inside his own five-yard line. Now third and 12 from the seven. Rolling out right side. Throws it out to Amari Manuel. Again, wide open past the 30-yard line. And Jermaine Russell is now injured for the Grizz. Jackson up the middle. Past the 45-yard line. Closing in on 200 yards for the game. And he's going to get it here. Well over 200 yards, up to the 40. And Jermaine Russell is out for 11 weeks, so the Grizzlies are f dropping like flies right now. A couple of starters on defense out for pretty much the remainder of the regular season. Dorian taking off on the option. First down and Morey fumbles the football, though. And that is recovered by Montana. And they're averaging 560 yards of offense on the season, only 193 today. But here's Callahan getting loose. Price misses. What a back juke. And Callahan is loose and gone. What a run. Oh, my goodness. A lot of these plays, you know, I play these games, obviously. And I go back and edit. So I see it twice before I do the commentary, and they still surprise me. Unreal. They go for two, and they punch it in. 37-22 is the score. Flyers trying to get something going here. Dorian does not get the first down, though. So the Grizzlies get the ball right back. Callahan up the gut. Close to another first down. He's got 156 yards today. Orlandi with a huge stop on fourth down. What a hit. Let's take another look. This reminds me of the Jack Tatum hit on Earl Campbell. If you've never seen that, go look it up on YouTube. Unreal hit. Of course, Earl Campbell scored on that. But just the collision itself reminded me of that. And here's another fumble. For Dayton, Woods has it, and he is going to have a scoop and score showboating into the end zone. What is going on? They're going to go for two to make this a seven-point game. Callahan stuffed and then bounces to the outside and gets it. 37-30. to Montana is storming back. The Flyers, they need a couple first downs to run this clock out. And Dorian gets a first down, but he gets tackled out of bounds. And he's now over the 100-yard mark for the game. But that stopped the clock. Jackson, he's going to get the first down. Stiff arm stays in bounds, though, at the 46-yard line. They still need one more first down. Jackson, he's going to get it and more inside the 30. And I believe he has 250 rushing yards. Here's one more carry for him. And he's inside the 15. And that will run the clock out. What a game. What a comeback attempt for Montana as they drop to three and one on the season. Dayton improves to two and two as their schedule of ranked opponents continues. That is four in a row. And they've had two pretty impressive wins, one against San Jose State who was ranked 18th in the nation. They won that game 63 to nothing. And they win this one 37 to 30, which is very close to my prediction of 31 to 30, but I had Montana winning this game. They only had eight first downs though. They relied heavily on big plays and not really any good drives on offense and the defense had a couple of good takeaways in flyer territory to set up some good scores they put up 16 in the fourth quarter to make it interesting but in the end it was not enough for the Grizz to come back were 210 yards passing two touchdowns one pick sacked twice a long of 73 that was to Jenkins Jackson over 250 rushing yards one touchdown were with 104 and one touchdown. Nine broken tackles for Smash Jackson. Two fumbles today for Dorian Wurr. 97 yards receiving for Amari Manuel. Trent Green had 27. And Skaggs with three yards, but he gets his first career receiving touchdown. He also had a drop. So did Green and Manuel. No pancakes today for any subscriber players. Orlandi, two tackles today. One of them was a huge fourth down stop. You saw the actual the highlight on that one. Tank Taylor, one tackle, one for a loss. Gloves Malone, one tackle. Not a lot of stats for the defense today. The offense really controlled the clock well. 
Swanson still ended up with four tackles for a loss and two sacks on the game. Cummings had a pick and a deflection. Swanson just balled out today. 64 yards on kick returns from Malone, 26 from Manuel, 12 yards on punt returns for Gloves Malone. Here are the top players of the game. Two injuries, two key injuries for the Grizzlies today. Two of their star players done for most of the regular season. Our next day in Flyers matchup will be week six. They travel to Illinois State to take on Big Ten foe, the Redbirds. That'll be a fun one. And that is it for week five, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a recap and week six predictions. Take it easy, guys.